Ladies and gentlemen, you know that coronal mass ejection we had? If you look here, we had a secondary coronal mass ejection, which may glance Earth. I don't know if you knew that, but you know that now. Because I have let you know. Yeah, we had a double coronal mass ejection. A big one, and then a tinier one. It was pretty impressive. We have been in a deep solar minimum, but the sun is starting to show activity. And we have seen some new sunspots from solar cycle 25, which will be the next solar cycle. So get excited if that's your thing. The sun is super duper interesting and fascinating. In my opinion. Yeah, baby. And she's shaking. She's a bit jittery. But I guess we all are these days. Did you see that rip off at the top? We will watch it again. It was part of a filament tear off. Now watch closely. Look at those little gremlins dancing. Juking and jiving. Having some fun. At least somebody's having fun in 2020. And there she goes. And so we are watching here the Enlil model which shows the double coronal mass ejections and the secondary one may glance earth barely so that's interesting so i'm just showing you a point of interest you know are glancing blows better than full-on blows you be the judge and now super cool dr tamitha scove says we are in luck nasa has rerun their prediction model to include the Earth-directed solar storm. Here's confirmation of a weak impact by July 14th. Expect aurora at high latitudes, maybe briefly to mid-latitudes, plus emergency and GPS reception issues on Earth's night side. See, so yeah, it looks like we've got an Earth-directed solar storm, unless things change. So that's exciting. We're going to be getting a bunch of charged particles all up in your grid and you may even feel it personally and energetically because when the sun acts weird earth weather acts weird and people lose their freaking mind man spaceweather.com says a canyon of fire on the sun during the late hours of july 8th a magnetic filament on the sun became unstable as we all have been lately and snapped as probably most of us have at some point point in time over the last month or two, I know I've snapped a few times. And then I apologize for it. The eruption cut a canyon of fire in the sun's atmosphere and hurled a faint coronal mass ejection into space. NOAA analysts are modeling the CME now to see if it might hit Earth's magnetic field in the days ahead. Stay tuned. And Tamothy's about as good a solar expert on planet Earth as there is out there. So I'm going to trust her opinion. So everybody be ready. That just means cool auras. We're not going to die. It's not going to fry the grid or nothing. Oh, Comet Neowise is a super-sized nucleus. I guess I should talk about that in another video. Solar storms, coronal mass ejections, comets, nu noctilucent clouds, planet parade. Man, July 2020 has got a little bit of everything. Astronomy and astrology wise you know if you're into that type of thing so everybody stay cool and hey monitor yourself around the 14th and let me know did you act a little bit wiggity 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 wild or did you have any energetic surges all right everybody stay cool and i'll do the same peace out god bless everyone and the force be with us always and let us live long and prosper together although with Mars and Aries over the next six months, it's probably going to be a little difficult. People are going to be snapping at each other, fighting all the time. Yeah, we'll stay cool where you can, man.